Hi, I'm John Bon Jovi and you're watching me on PTV News. Hello PHS, I'm Matt Reisner. Today is the first day of December 2016. And I'm Devin Gritton and ah, I can't wait for Christmas. It's approximately 23 days away. Christmas can't come fast enough. But thanks for joining us here today at PTV. PTV News starts right now. start you off with your SRT and after school meetings. During SRT today there will be a global discussion club meeting in room 146. After school there is a robotics meeting in room 141 from 3.30 to 5.30. And from 6 to 9 tonight in the auditorium, Jefferson Elementary School is holding a holiday concert, free and open to the public. Stop by if you are ready to ring in for the holiday. Did you hear about the ABC 50 57 minute miracle that was happening here at PHS right before Thanksgiving break? Mrs. Porteous helped, helped the miracle happen by surprising one of our students. The 57 miracle is where you ask a random person to select one person who could use $570. And you have 57 minutes to find that person. Mrs. Porteous named senior Elizabeth Northcutt with this prize. The news station asked her who she would give this to. Elizabeth was surprised and speechless to receive the money. Her family recently had some issues with insurance and said that she would use the money to buy a medical asthma inhaler she needs to breathe and the rest of the money she would be planning to save to pay for college next year. Congratulations, Elizabeth. And by the way, a special thanks to our own Matt Reisner for capturing this video for PTV. Next up, an inside look on the FFA club open to all students here at PHS. This piece was put together by Alex Walter and Jay Dare in our PTV Interactive Media Marketing class. FFA is growing and learning. Having fun. Uh, I'd like people to know that uh, FFA is not just uh, about animals and tractors and crops. Uh, that there's a large leadership and communications program um, and agriculture jobs are one of the largest industry uh, in the U.S. So there are tons and tons of jobs in agriculture that are not just related to farming. There's mechanics, animal science, veterinary, uh, soil, entomology, crop. It's everything we do is a growth experience. So uh, every time we go to a competition, it's a new environment, it's people you don't know, it's all about learning this new stuff to help you out in your future. So um, to me, it's definitely, it's growth and then it's really fun too. So like, it's a really like relaxing experience for me because I like doing stuff with agriculture and I like being with other kids that have the same interests as me. So um, it's definitely a fun experience too. For the future, uh, it's looking bright. Uh, I would really like to get into being competitive at the state and national level. Uh, we've already got a, in my, this is my second year, uh, we have a good start uh, and now we can compete at a higher level and I think with the practice and a little bit of work, uh, we'll be right there with the best in the state. The next segment of our show is a recap of the Unstoppable Trail Run, which was an organized to commemorate the passing of Ryland Clark. This segment was put together by our interactive media marketing student, Tyson Matheny. To our community, it's showing that we can come together and we can remember somebody that was really special to us. It means a lot to me because my father and I started this MCRC club and now we've raised over $50,000 for charity organizations in just two years. But this is more significant than that because this is one of my good friends' races. So we're looking forward to give the donation to this event. There's too many good memories to count. I'd say he was probably one of my best of friends. I loved hanging out with him. I always loved seeing his smile whenever he came over or whenever I talked to him. He had this love for everybody he met, regardless of who they were or where they come from.
December, our PTV crew is having fun hitting the halls, asking you the age-old question that's on everybody's mind. What do you want for Christmas? Each week, we'll be showing you what some of you had to say. Let's roll part one of our three-part special. World peace. Honey, baby. <laughs> I have a son in the military and I would like him to come safely home for Christmas as well as my adult kids who are in college. Money, bro. To spend time with my family and friends. Mm, I probably want a new phone. Time off. I would want world peace. For world hunger to end. Mr. Connor, take one. <laughs> Action. Um, I would like an endless supply of books and a walk-on role on Game of Thrones. I want a billion dogs. Bernie Sanders to be in office. Health education provides the opportunity to gain face-to-face, hands-on experience for students interested in medical careers. Welcome to Health Careers. I'm Jonna Cartwright, Program Chair for North Central Area Vocational Co-op. Students are able to start as juniors, continue as seniors, and leave with 11 dual college credit hours, gaining a CNA and CPR certifications. Do you have an interest in the medical field? If so, come join us at PHS, where there's an opportunity. Visit Plymouth High School at www.plymouth.k12.in.us or call 574-936-2178 for more information. I'm Jesus A. I'm Jesus B. I'm Juan Garcia. I'm Devin Gritton. I'm Nicole with PTV Sports. Stay tuned for details. Coming up next, we are going to be showing a recap of the cross-country team season brought to us by Seth Brantley, Gus Moreno, and Liam McLaughlin from our interactive media class. Let's have a look. Um, the passion just comes from, it's always been my outlet, my way of just dealing with anything and everything that goes on in life. Whenever I'm up, I'm down, it's always nice to go on a run. And from there, there's always capability of getting better and better. Uh, and that's really where the passion comes from. Well, I get to see some of these kids for hours every day for months on months. So yeah, I'd say we have a pretty special bond. Um, and it's a really cool relationship, especially with this last season and everything. Um, and I can't even tell you how close I am with some of the guys. The times I almost feel like I'm an older brother or dad to them, either giving them some life advice or just everything that goes on outside of the in general. Uh, yeah, I uh, really like running in. It's a good stress reliever and it keeps your mind off of uh, definitely the team dinners, either the team dinners or right after the race. Uh, I'd say a really strong bond. Uh, we went through a lot this year and uh, we were all there for each other. I, I wouldn't call it a team as much as I call it a family. We've been through a lot of tough times. It really helps that we have the bond that we do. Last week before break, our PTV trivia time question was, how many Grammys did Kanye West win? The classroom that called in the correct answer first was Miss Carrie Sharp's JAG room. Photojournalist Juan Garcia and our PTV crew delivered their sweet prize, our signature prize, donuts. Congratulations to Miss Sharp and her class for winning the PTV trivia time contest. And by the way, if you were wondering what the answer was, it was 21 Grammys. Okay, PHS, it's time for your guys' favorite portion of the show, Trivia Time. Today's question is, who is the male actor with the most Oscars? If you think you know the answer, call extension 1241. Again, who is the male actor with the most Oscars? Call extension 1241 with your answer. Good luck. And remember, our phone lines don't start taking phone calls until the real time of when this part of the show airs. So if you're following the rules and 
your class starts to show exactly when the SRT bell rings at 1040, then you should be good. We appreciate all the rooms that are playing our PTV trivia the right way. Thank you. PHS, it's time to see what's for lunch today. We're going to be having much love chicken patty on bun with green beans and fruit and vegetable bar. Our PTV class is very exciting, but we aren't sure if you realize there are only five of us in the class this year. This comes after the class has closed off the nine other surrounding school corporations this year after being shrunk down to an hour a day. So we are looking for honorary guest anchors, and we need your help. Every week we are in the midst of picking a recognizable guest anchor from our student body. No work is required on the part of the anchor besides showing up during third hour homeroom when we record the show on Tuesdays. And of course, doing your best anchoring the show. It'll be fun and you'll get to see a little bit of what goes on behind the scenes here in our PTV studio. So how do you sign up? Just email one of us here at PTV or email our instructor, Judy Likowski. That's all we have for you guys today. See you next Thursday with some bigger, better, and always amazing news. Until next time, I'm Matt Reisman. And I'm Devin Gritton. Have a holly jolly great day, PHS. Thank <laughs> you.